hey guys welcome back to another follow-up video of infinity x rom for Redmi note 7 so i have been reviewing this rom pretty long now so we don't really get official evolution x for this device so this is an unofficial rom so as you can see here android 16 vanilla and the and the infinity x version is 11.4 this is a vanilla version of the rom there is no gfs build so you have to flash gfs after flashing the rom if you want gfs and the CVD patch level is 1st November 2025. This is the latest build and I have been using this ROM few days now. So the UI is pretty much similar to the older build. Nothing new here. The control panel as you can see here, similar. In terms of connectivity, nothing changed. Everything is still working well like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Hotspot and BoLT and Bo Wi-Fi. Everything working. So in terms of network connectivity, no issue at all. And in that section, we still get all the features like clone app, app lock and sidebar option. So sidebar option is working. As you can see here. Notification still similar, sound and vibration. So we do get part of volume control, but no Dolby Atmos and few other things display section adaptive brightness is working and double tap to work and double tap to sleep all these things are still working well no issue at all the ui is pretty snappy actually wallpaper so we do get clock option as you can see here and in the change wallpaper option we don't really get ai wallpaper or emoji workshop and the uh, default wallpapers as you can see here we do get few customization option here in the more lock screen option we do get always show and charging but no proper IOD storage by default it will take 15 GB of storage battery so the battery backup is quite good I haven't faced any drain issue or anything like that but Fast charging is not available, so it will charge only at 10 watt. And we do get charging related features like charging control, scheduling, and all those things. In the system setting, we do get button options. So as you can see here, button option you can do few customization here. And device settings, which is Xiaomi parts, and you can calibrate the display and also, you can put the device in performance mode for better performance. In terms of security and privacy, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. Actually, I haven't faced any issue regarding fingerprint unlock. So, as you can see, it is pretty fast and accurate always. We do get private space. And in the more security and privacy option, we do get extended unlock, theft protection, SIM lock, and these things as usual actually location is working well and nothing else actually in terms of customization we do get the evolver section as you can see here all sorts of customization are available here in the miscellaneous section we do get component spoofing and we do get google photos unlimited storage and high fps in game all these things so in terms of customization everything is available so application part so we don't really get miui camera with Evolution X ROM for Redmi Note 7. And even on Redmi Note 8, also we are not getting MIUI camera. But the default camera which we are getting is Gcam Go, which is working well actually. As you can see here, no issue at all. Photos. So no issue. And I did install a Gcam. Still similar, it takes time to load, but it does work. So as you can see here. So cameras do work, no issue at all. In terms of Google Photos, so unlimited storage is available as you can see here. And Magic Editor is also working. So it is working well, no issue at all. 
and unfortunately we are not getting safety net with this build in the previous build we did get the safety net but not now you can fix it actually it's a little difficult side but it is fixable so as you can see here device is not certified so bank apps and payment application not going to work here in terms of phone call as i said bo lt bo wi-fi working even video call is also working and i did try the background call recording option and it did work actually so call recording is working well no issue at all in terms of other features we do get circle to search as always no issue and lastly in terms of gaming so the gaming performance was not really that good i did get better experience out of few other roms so gaming experience not going to be that good like other roms but it is pretty much acceptable and overall the ui is pretty snappy actually although the gaming performance is not that good but overall the ui is pretty good as you can see here it is pretty snappy and working pretty well and we do get all sorts of customization option and everything so as i said there are a few minor issues like gaming performance and charging issue and also the safety net issue but otherwise this is a pretty good rom and if you want to try this rom the rom link will be in the description below and that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one